Anglo, Wikipedia article audio. Anglo is a prefix indicating a relation to the Angles, England, the English people, or the English language, such as in the term Anglo-Saxon language. It is often used alone, somewhat loosely, to refer to people of British Isles descent in the Americas, New Zealand, South Africa, and Australia. It is also used, both in English-speaking and non-English-speaking countries, to refer to Anglophone people of other European origins. Anglo is a late Latin prefix used to denote English in conjunction with another toponym or demonym. The word is derived from Anglia, the Latin name for England, and still used in the modern name for its eastern region, East Anglia. Anglia and England both mean land of the Angles, a Germanic people originating in the North German peninsula of Angeln, that is, the region of today's Lower Saxony that joins the Jutland peninsula and thus forms an Angle, so the Romans named it Angulus. Specialized Usage Africa it is also often used incorrectly to refer to British in historical and other contexts after the Acts of Union 1707, for example such as in the Anglo-Dutch Treaty of 1824, where in later years agreement was between the British government and the Dutch, not an English government. Typical examples of this use are also shown below where non-English people from the British Isles are described as being Anglo. Anglo is not an easily defined term. For traditionalists, there are linguistic problems with using the word as an adjective or noun on its own. For example, the purpose of the O ending is to enable the formation of a compound term, so there is only an apparent parallelism between, for example, Latino and Anglo. However, a semantic change has taken place in many English-speaking regions so that in informal usage the meanings listed below are common. The definition is changed in each region which defines how it is identified. The term Anglo-African has been used historically to self-identify by people of mixed British and African ancestry born in the United States and in Africa. The Anglo-African and the Weekly Anglo-African were the names of newspapers published by African-American abolitionist Robert Hamilton in New York during the American Civil War era. The Anglo-African was also the name of a newspaper published in Lagos from 1863 to 1865. It was founded and edited by Robert Campbell a Jamaican-born son of a Scottish father and mulatto mother. The term has also been used historically to describe people living in the British Empire in Africa. The Anglo-African Who's Who and Biographical Sketchbook published in London in 1905 includes details of prominent British and Afrikaner people in Africa at that time. In Australia, Anglo is used as part of the terms Anglo-Australian and Anglo-Celtic, which refer to the majority of Australians, who are of English, Scottish, Welsh and Irish descent. In Canada, and especially in Canadian French, the terms Anglophone, Anglo-Canadian, or simply Anglo, are widely used to designate someone whose mother tongue is English, as opposed to Francophone which describes someone whose mother tongue is French, and to allophone, which describes someone whose mother tongue is a language other than English or French. Anglomatis is also sometimes used to refer to a historical ethnic group. Australia Immigrants from English-speaking countries are sometimes referred to as Anglos. In Scotland the term Anglo-Scot often shortened to Anglos, is used to refer to people born in Scotland with English ancestry. Canada 
The term Anglo Scot is more often used to describe Scottish sports players who are based in England or playing for English teams, or vice versa. This usage is especially used in football and notably in rugby union, where the Anglo Scots were a Scottish non native select provincial district side that competed in the Scottish Inter District Championship. In many parts of the United States, especially those with high Hispanic populations, Anglo-American is shortened to Anglo and applied to white Americans who are not of Hispanic or Latino origin and sometimes to those who are not of French origin, but the latter criterion is based on specific linguistic considerations and limited to Louisiana and parts of Texas. If language is taken into consideration the term Anglo-American also excludes Franco-Americans such as the Cajuns of Louisiana, but would include them when language is excluded as a criterion. Israel In the southwest United States, Anglo, short for Anglo-American, is used as a synonym for non-Hispanic whites, that is European Americans most of whom speak the English language, even those who are not necessarily of English or British descent. Some non-Hispanics whites in the United States who speak English but are not of English or British ancestry do not identify with the term Anglo and find the term offensive. For instance, some Cajuns in South Louisiana use the term to refer to area whites who do not have Francophone backgrounds. Irish Americans, the second largest self-identified ethnic group in the United States following German Americans, also sometimes take umbrage at being called Anglo. Scotland United States